Welcome to Justice for New York. I'm your host, Charles Collins. All documentation concerning Justice for New York videos can be found at justicefornewyork.com. Next, we're going to go back to the state penal laws. After the last charges were dismissed against me for on the smoke incident, because they, they couldn't prove their case, I decided to file criminal charges. Again, state penal laws, 175.4, issuing a false certificate. A person is guilty of issuing a false certificate when being a public servant authorized by law to make or issue official certificates or other official written instruments, which are court orders, also complaints. With the intent to defraud, deceive, or injure another person, he issues such an instrument or makes the same with the intent that it be used, knowing that it contains a false statement or false information. Official misconduct. He commits an act relating to his official office, but constituting an unauthorized exercise of his official functions, knowing that such act is unauthorized, <clears throat> or he knowingly refrains from performing a duty, which is he is required by law to perform. Now, I then filed a federal complaint against Richard D. Simmons within the statutory guidelines for a felony complaint, stating that he deprived me of my constitutional right to appeal to the Court of Appeals with his ruling stating that I raised issues other than the constitutionality of state statutes, when in fact that was the only issue being raised. He lied in order to injure me and oppress. Further, defendants violated Title 18241, conspiracy against the rights of citizens, in that he conspired with Warren County Family Court Judge John Austin to oppress the enjoyment of his right to a pub, my right to a public trial, a jury trial, a court of proper jurisdiction, which are secured by the Constitution and laws of the United States also by New York State also. It's signed, and a written statement, any person who knowingly makes a false statement, which such person does not believe to be true, has committed a crime under the laws of the state of New York, punishable as a Class A misdemeanor. Saul Greenberg, covering up, refused to do anything with this felony complaint. He could have charged me if this was false, but he knew damn well it wasn't. I had seven pages plus affidavit with it, documenting it, along with doc exhibits two to support everything I stated, supporting this, that he committed a felony act. I also filed one against Judge K. Same thing, committed a felony of issuing a false certificate on about February 16th, 95, November 26, 96, and March 26, City of Albany, unlawfully deprived the complainant of his right to appeal to the Court of Appeals by ha having issued an order that she knew contained false information as documented in the attached affidavit. That was about 22 pages long, covering the three dates. Again, she also conspired to cover up what was going on in the courtroom. Again, Saul Greenberg did nothing. He was going to protect his little princess. I also filed a complaint against Thomas M. Peters and Michael Gaynor. In the last incident, the defendants conspired to have the complaint no arrested on a Class C felony of criminal anarchy and a Class B misdemeanor of criminal nuisance knowing that said charges contained false information and that the complainant did not commit either of the two charges against them. The complainant was arraigned on both charges on October 95 and placed on $10,000 bail and was illegally imprisoned because of the illegal actions of the defendants. I was arrested, put in jail until my arraignment and everything. They knew the charges were bogus. Of course, Saul Greenberg's going to protect his Michael Gaynor his assistant, you know, they can do no wrong. They can't do any right either. They just violate everybody's rights. Again, 
denied they didn't win. But again, I wasn't charged with making a false instrument, which they could have done, but they knew damn well what I had stated was totally true. It's cover-up. 